Hola, 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 guys. It's me, and I'm taking advantage of another early morning so that I can bring this video out to you guys. Um, I want to just quickly talk to you guys about skincare. Um, a few weeks back, I had to go to a local Sephora um, because I was browsing around for new skincare products. Um, for those of you who know, my skin is combination. Um, but since we are entering the winter or fall slash winter, um, it becomes more dry. So I have combination dry skin. Um, and I my skin was just going nuts. Um, and I just needed some type of moisturization. I mean, my makeup was not looking good. It was just patchy and it was just insane. And the oil production was just ridiculous on my T-zone. Um, so I spoke to someone and... They pretty much told me, and it's funny because I didn't even think about it, my skin was dehydrated. And sometimes we don't think about that and we're like, your skin can dehydrate. Yeah, I can. Um, I think one of the biggest things that we forget to do often is drink water. And I drink water, but I don't drink water as much as I should. And I'm telling you that Drinking water is important. It's essential. Um, not only, I mean, this is a life source that you should be having all the time. Um, and it really does affect your skin. Um, really does hydrate your skin. Um, another thing that I needed and I recommend because I finally went out and got it is to get a serum before you put on your moisturizer. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, serums don't work and this and that. I mean, even I've been guilty of using serums very very sparingly really don't care for serums but you know what when you get the right serum it's gonna make the difference in your skin there's some serums out there that they just flat out don't work and you really just have to do your research on it so if your skin is experiencing any dryness any patchiness if your skin is dehydrated like mine is my oil production is just out of control because the skin doesn't know how to react so it just acts all crazy um, I went out and got from First Aid Beauty, I'm just showing you the products that I got, um, the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. This is what I got. It's a great beginner serum. It's not so expensive. I think it's like $32 or something like that. I'll put the link below in case you're interested in this serum. This serum, and I'm going to be 100% honest, in a matter of days. It improved my skin so much one problem that I had when I would put on foundation is it would be very patchy around here the eyebrow area and around the cheeks it would be very patchy it was so annoying and you know it's like is it my skin or is it the makeup you know and you're going around searching for foundation and searching for makeup and nine times out of ten it's not the makeup it's your skin if you take care of your skin and you get the correct products according to your skincare type you won't need to put on a whole bunch of makeup I mean obviously you're gonna have to put on makeup put on your concealer whatever but it's gonna wear better and you will wear less because your skin is being taken care of so if your skin is being, being taken care of you don't really have to worry so much on the skincare products so um, again this is the serum that I brought from first aid beauty <laughs> ultra repair hydrating serum and in a matter of days I'm telling you it really really helped my skin out it just you know it, it preps your skin to accept the moisturizers that you're getting so you're getting all the extra moisturization all the extra you know vitamins and nutrients that are in your moisturizer so it really made a difference my makeup just it's just so much better when I smooth it on the application it just looks so much better less cakey especially around the eyebrow area oh my god that looked horrible um, so yeah, so the other product that I wanted to get because I ran out of moisturizer, um, for those of you who know, um, I am, as of now, I have been using the L'Oreal Vita, Vita Lift, is it? The L'Oreal Vita Lift, um, face cream, which I like very, very much, but I wanted to give something else a try. Not that I don't like L'Oreal anymore. I definitely like L'Oreal and I recommend it. It's a really great moisturizer. Um, but I wanted to give out, give a try out to First Aid Beauty. I really don't have their products. I've heard a lot about their products, a lot of good things about their products. So, you know, I just wanted to give it a try. So I decided to get a moisturizer from them as well. And this is the Skin Rescue Daily face cream for sensitive skin it's non uh, comedogenic so 
I wanted to give this a try. Now, I can't say too much on this moisturizer because I got it not too long ago, but I can tell you this, it's unscented, it's a light moisturizer. I was really surprised on how light it was. Um, so depending on your skin type, that may or may not be good for you. Um, if you have dry skin, maybe it's not going to be too great for you. But if you have oily skin or combination skin like I do, this may be a godsend for you. Um, put it on day and night as per the instructions. Um, and I'm going to say that me putting it on, on contact soften my skin i immediately noticed that my skin was much softer and in the morning i woke up to really nice soft supple skin um so i'm hoping that there's more you know after that more results some long-term results um again i haven't been using it long but that is so far the results that i'm getting from these products. So again, guys, I just wanted to get this video out there and let you know, take care of your skin. It's important to take care of your skin. Um, I guess I've kind of been slacking from taking care of my skin, but know the condition of your skin. If you're not sure, talk to a consultant at your local beauty store like Sephora or Ulta. Um, do some research on products. These are the products right now that I feel can help me out. It's also important to exfoliate your skin. Um, I had this in my last uh, video review, um, the e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. I am currently also using this. I haven't really been using any scrubs because this pretty much has been doing its job. Um, if you haven't seen the video review on this, you can go and check that out. But um, it's important also to have a product that you can exfoliate your skin. Um, exfoliate your skin at least once a week. It's definitely going to make a difference and it's very important. It's essential to exfoliate your skin so that your skin is soft. Lines are softened if you have any lines on your forehead, which I do, and it's extremely annoying. But it's very common. A lot of people have lines on our foreheads because we're always going like this and we're always being emotional so it's gonna happen so <laughs> um thank you guys for watching just wanted to let you know what was going on with my face and that's it so i'm gonna link the products below if you're interested in any of these three products and i will see you guys very soon adios